Hello YouTube, this is Priestess Callista with your Raw Truth Psychic Weekly What's the Word. This week we're going to be working with the Loa and getting answers from the Loa regarding direction for our lives, okay? So I want you guys to pick your numbers one through three and I will be reading for you with the, um, with the playing cards, okay? The playing cards, regular playing cards and also the Haitian Vodun board, okay? So let's move this way so you can kind of see what's going on okay so pick your numbers one through three think about what it is you want to know and we'll see what the loa has to say to you okay this is for group number one okay so we're looking at the current situation it speaks of a queen of spades this is a woman who has position of authority. She is well established. She can bless the way for others to be successful or she can hold others from being successful. And what's acting on this is the eight of clubs. So this represents a woman who yes, has all of this position and all of this power but the obstacle that challenges her getting projects off the ground and being organized and accomplishing what it is that she needs to do. The outcome of the reading says you are having this difficulty because you are having a lot of hopes and dreams about some romantic situation that's not going to turn out the way that you want. So yes, you are very, you know, in a position to have what you want, to grow what you want. But because of this emotional thing that's having you going back and forth, it's very difficult for you to be successful in getting projects off the ground, okay? So that is for group number one. Group number two. All right, this is for group number two. The current situation is talking about trying to rebuild an old relationship in a new way. Something or someone from the past returning to you. Having sentimental and nostalgic, you know, feelings for something from the past, okay? And what's acting on this, again, difficulty getting projects off the ground, difficulty focusing, difficulty accomplishing. And the outcome speaks of, listen, don't do this, okay? Do not give any time, energy, or attention into trying to rebuild an old relationship in a new way because the outcome is the ten of spades all you're going to get is disappointment betrayal or backstabbing okay so the lower are saying yes this person may want to come back and they may be even saying you know i'm different i've changed i've done this i've done that but they haven't and if you believe them you're going to end up being hurt okay so that is for group number two this is for group number three All right, group number three. It talks about you being overwhelmed, carrying a lot of burden and responsibility. Also, it speaks about standing strong through difficult work situations. And this is probably why you're, you know, trying to stand strong through sabotage or people nitpicking at work or people not helping you start a business or something of the sort. But what's acting on this is don't worry about that. Obstacle or challenge is a new business, a new start, or a new beginning, okay? Yes, it's difficult, but the outcome is going to be the eight of spades. It speaks of you feeling trapped or tied up, like you can't move one way or the other, or something is no longer satisfying for you. I'm going to pull one more card here. This can have something to do with the woman, okay? So I'm seeing you being very successful with what you're trying to do, even though it looks a little rough right now, new opportunities are gonna to come to you, and you may feel a bit trapped or tied up like you can't move one way or the other, and this could be an emotional situation as well, okay? But it looks like work or business or career is a situation, yes, there are obstacles right now, but these things are gonna pan out, and if this relationship is causing you any issues, 
you might want to consider putting that on the back burner so that you can focus on business or what it is that you're trying to do okay this is what the lower are talking about so they want you to be stable we're going to go to the Voldoom board and I want to show you my board I've had it for many many years and uh, the way that it works is I take the pendulum I know you may not be able to see it but there's a hole here and my finger goes through the pendulum hole the hole in the string on the pendulum my arm rests solidly on the table my elbow rests on the table which prohibits any action from my hand moving the pendulum okay so it says here a a good day it says four group one it says be diligent in more prayer meditation it says and allowing situations that are no longer serving you to affect your your life so there may be some situations in your in your life group number one really that you may need to start seriously consider giving up okay it says and for group two it says be diligent in following instincts and first mind it says this will this will definitely it says hinder difficulties and it says obstacles coming from past relationships where individuals have not made proper proper change okay so that is for group number two group number three it says focus on it says building business and career and business opportunities that can bring financial growth and stability okay so that's for group number three all right guys so this is your raw truth weekly what's the word talking to the loa getting some direction as to what we need to do and i hope that you guys share like and subscribe if you would like a private reading, please go to thepriestess.net, click schedule appointment, and you'll see everything that I have to offer. And if you would like spiritual supplies, please go to spiritualsupplycenter.com. I have candles, incense, herbs. I don't have herbs. I have candles, incense, oils, and crystals. I'm going to start putting the crystals up, but I do have some right now, okay? So you guys have a great week, and I will see you next Monday for Raw Truth Psychic Weekly What's the Word. Have a great one.